You see, I grew up, as Al shared with you, in a small farming community west of Fort Worth, Texas. We didn't spend a lot of time looking around for government to help us out. If a neighbor was sick, we all pitched in together to gather their crops or manage their livestock. <laughs> in my case, we didn't even have indoor plumbing until I was five years old. Our path toward Gracie began when my wife, Mary Kay, volunteered at a Catholic church orphanage when we lived together in Taiwan in 1987. Twelve years later, on the evening of May 19th, 1999, and I want you to remember that date, May 19th, we decided to adopt a little girl from China. The reason that they want to call you names and call me names, yeah, I get called a few names too. Imagine that. It's because they want to intimidate us into not letting our voices be heard. And the last time I checked, according to the Founding Fathers, when they talked about those unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, if you keep reading that same document, it went on to say that when any form of government becomes destructive of those ideals, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. We've got some altering and some abolishing to do. When I was first elected uh, in 1990, I ran in a 60% Democratic district against a 14-year Democratic incumbent was given absolutely no chance to win the race. In fact, the head of the Congressional Committee wouldn't even meet with me because he said there was no, I had no point in meeting because I had no chance of winning. I sort of felt that way a few months ago when I was in this race. <laughs> but you know what? I, I believed that someone had to go out and fight for the principles that made this I'm a former federal tax litigation attorney. I've seen how devastating high taxes are on job creation. I'm a job creator. My husband and I started a successful company from scratch. Small business is the miracle job creation agent of this country, and profit is a good thing. And I'm asked all the time, is it harder being in government than it is being in business? And I'm sure you presume it is. No. It's harder doing what you do in the private sector than it is being in government. Because what you do, if you make a mistake, if you make a serious mistake in your job, you might lose your job. Then you might end up losing your house. And if you, if you run an enterprise that employs other people, you can lose all their jobs and the bank's money and your investors' money. It's very unforgiving in your enterprises. In, in government, the four years I spent there, I was surprised. When some people messed up, they just blamed the opposition party. That's what you're seeing in Washington today. You're seeing a president who doesn't know how to govern, who doesn't know how to lead, who doesn't know how to balance the balance sheet, but he sure knows how to campaign and blame. And we need a president that knows how to lead.